New York Governor Andrew Cuomo maintains that he has done nothing wrong and that he will not resign, despite the scandals surrounding his handling of the COVID crisis in nursing homes and allegations of sexual misconduct. But he's also raising doubts about what the ongoing investigation by State Attorney General Letitia James will reveal. I did nothing wrong, and uh, period. And I'm not resigning, and I'm doing my job every day. I'm not telling anyone to have faith in anything. I didn't tell the assembly to have faith in anything. Uh, everybody makes their own decisions. Now, here is the governor just two months ago praising the attorney general. What is determinative is what the attorney general finds. That's the factual finding. Uh, and the attorney general has to do her job. And she's very competent uh, to do that. Now, my next guest compares his approach to the repeated gaslighting of America by Donald Trump. So let's bring in CNN political commentator Essie Cup. Uh, Essie, your new op-ed is in uh, the, the New York Daily News, and it calls Cuomo's behavior blatantly Trumpian. This is a very good column, by the way. Um, explain what you mean by that. You lay your case out with various points. Well, it's, it's a very obvious comparison, I, I think, if you've been watching the way Cuomo has deflected and distracted over the course of these dual investigations into the nursing home scandal and into the uh, allegations of sexual misconduct. Um, for the nursing homes, he's called it essentially a partisan witch hunt uh, concocted by Donald Trump, itself a very Trumpian thing to do. And in terms of the sexual misconduct investigation, he's thrown everything but the kitchen sink at it. He's had his team reportedly try to uh, discredit one of the accusers. He's blamed cancel culture for the scrutiny of him. And most recently, he's questioned uh, the integrity of not just the investigation, but the investigator, uh, Tish James, uh, a woman he once endorsed and supported, almost hand-selected to run for AG, now floating up a really un uncorroborated rumor that she just wants his job. So, so Brie, put it another way, uh, the idea that he would defend himself against allegations of sexual misconduct with women by discrediting, by the way, the first African-American and first woman to hold the position of attorney general saying, well, she really just wants my job. Um, it's a new level of gross and despicable. But again, it's very Trumpian. We saw Trump basically use the same playbook through multiple uh, lawsuits, allegations, accusations, uh, and somewhat successfully. Yeah, you, you even mentioned, like, he, the bickering, right? The name-calling is very Cuomo as well. But you also say, yeah. um, you know, he seems unencumbered by the truth, which is a hallmark of Donald yeah. Trump. You say, for Cuomo, like Trump, truth is merely theoretical now, malleable and downright bendable. He may as well just preemptively call the conclusion of the investigation alternative facts. Yeah, I mean, when you say, I'm not telling anyone to have faith in anything, uh, everyone makes their own decisions. Well, I'm sorry, what's the point of an in independent investigation if not to get to a truth? If in the end, everyone gets to make their own decision, well, then it's meaningless. And you really are undermining the entire idea that there is a truth to get to. And you're doing it right before the results even come out, both undermining the investigation and the investigator, and telling people not to have faith in this system. It's one of the most deleterious things we think Trump has done. And here is a sitting governor of a very big state, a uh, member of the Democratic Party, once you know thought he'd run for president. And uh, he's really doing all of the worst stuff Trump did over the course of his presidency. Essie, thanks for being with us. You really just lay out the facts in this column, and it's a very interesting read. Thanks, Bree.